What up, YouTube? Kryptonian Gaming back with another Division 2 build video. I apologize to you guys for not dropping content consistently. I'll try to drop one every week. At least a video or something like that. Um, especially that car coming out with that third person shooter. They added it and they added a couple more gadgets. It looks awesome. It looks crazy. Um, but I don't really know how the game's gonna be. Um, Hopefully I get to play the open beta. If you see all that early, you get to play, but that game might revolutionize a lot of stuff. But anyway, man, let's get back to it. I got a nice build for you guys from season 10 with the Umbra Initiative. It is awesome. I had one in the works, but uh, I switched it up. I switched out my gun because uh, that's just what I do. But anyway, man. For all my subscribers that, you know, been there since day one and, and, and hung in there when I wasn't dropping content. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. I'm back. Hit the like if you enjoy. And all you new guys, man, that, you know, just started playing Division 2 or whatever. I make builds. And uh, if you like my content, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Hit the like. You know, so you can get notified every time I drop a video. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at what we got with the new season 10. This gear set, I feel so satisfied, like coming out of cover and using my weapon with this brand set. Um, it's very strong and uh, I like it. But this is the AR that I'm talking about, but let's get into it. I'm going with the firewall because I need the cluster to proc um, one of the new talents that I found on the AR. I farmed this in the summit. I was looking for AR with the new sledgehammer talent. And the only one I found is this. I farmed it for about three hours. I found the LMG and I found the C tar. 21 with the talent on it so i don't know if it's on any other ars but i found it and i was very happy and it's pretty cool but let's go with the dark winter for the cell machine gun it has perfect killer killing the enemy with a critical hit grants plus 50 percent critical hit damage for 10 seconds and um as you can see it's not really all that optimized right now I could boost a couple things up, but I'm going to get the rank up first. And then, uh, of course, like I just said, the CTAR 21 with uh, Sledgehammer. Dealing damage with a grenade applies a mark on target. Targets with mark will take 30% more damage to armor and have a negative 20% movement speed. Mark will disappear after 10 seconds. Um, I don't know if this talent is on any other ARs like uh, the M4, the Foul. But this is the only one so far that I found. And um, an LMG that I found. Uh, let me see. Let's take a look. Uh, tactical M249 Pyra with the sledgehammer. So these are the only two that I found so far. So pretty cool that they, they have the, you know, the talent on other weapons. Hopefully it's on other, other um, weapons. But let's get back into it. Uh, exotic coyotes mask only because uh, this is a crit build because of the simple fact the brand set you get the most out of it you feel me like from the shadows into the light we'll get into that but the talent on the mask is pack instincts and you and all allies gain a bonus based on distance of the last enemy you hit. 0 to 15 meters, you get 25% critical hit damage. 15 to 25 meters, you get 10% critical hit damage and 10% critical hit chance. 25 meters plus, you get 25% critical hit chance. And this is a good, like, uh, synergy build for a team, um, in my opinion, because of the mask. And then your cluster. So it helps out the team a lot. Especially when you throw on, like, when you switch to this weapon and you throw your cluster, you proc the sledgehammer, and then you get out of cover and just start lighting them up with the brand set. I'm going, of course, with the new amazing holster, the Picaro's holster, from the new uh, 
gear piece, the Brazos. And it, it, it's it's crazy because uh, this piece is, is kind of amazing. I got four. They dropping a lot for me. Uh, so this one got the 20% weapon damage as the core. It comes like that. And I, found, I got lucky because I found one with a critical hit damage and a health. So I just rolled the health to critical hit chance. So um, now the new brand set, man, Umbra's Initiative. Uh, four pieces, you'll, you'll get 15% critical hit chance, 30% reload speed, and from the shadows into the light. While in cover, gain 10 stacks per second up to 50 E stacks will give you 1% critical Hit damage increase and 0.3% RPM. Um, so like uh, I'm using high RPMs here. So with that extra RPM, once I hit the max stacks on that, it is crazy. And that's where like most of the damage comes from. But I think I haven't like tried it yet. If I put a lower RPM, I'll get more damage. Um, because I, I, I tried this build with the good times because I wanted that faster reload. And the good times was putting out almost 600,000 damage. And these is around the 400 mark. 350 to 400 mark. But, uh, you know, to each his own, you could try however you want to put it. This, this I guess, just, just works for me. So, uh, the talent on the backpack is... Uh, into the light increases max stacks for into the light from 50 to 100 stack gain from 10 to 20 and stack consumption from 10 to 20 um and the chest piece talent is from the shadows increases max stacks from the shadows from 50 to 100 and stack gain from 10 to 20 um oh i almost forgot um why while out of cover you lose two stacks per second at normal speed and one stack per second of sprinting while out of cover in combat you gain 10 stacks per second up to 50. Each stack will give you 0.8 armor regen when it's consumed. So it's pretty awesome. And at first I had the, the new catharsis on here because of the armor regen. But I put only one attribute armor regen and it, just to give me enough. Like it gives me like a little more than half a bar, half of my bar back. When I get hit and stuff. So that works for me. That's fine. I just got to go and cover and then just get it real fast. And then I'm back up and back at it. So it works for me, man. I got some gameplay for you guys. It's a really cool build. Really cool brand set. I got some more builds coming for you guys, man. Like, I got a lot of builds coming for you guys that I'm going to um, experiment with. Especially this one. I'm going to make more builds with this one. You know how I do. I'm into like, uh, I just haven't been playing the game that much. Uh, my head is a new uh, game mode coming out called Descent. It's pretty dope. Uh, it it looks amazing. Uh, you start with no gear, so can't wait to get it to that. And um, yeah, man. Um, I'm Kryptonian Gaming. I see you guys on the next one.